Hello my soccer universe. Well, after the first five video more or less featured the same jerseys, I thought I'll switch it again up again. Arsenal is up again from part six. And I decided to put the black jersey last jersey now for the remaining videos. Let's see how I will continue changing it up up there. We are now part seven. That means we are in group G. And I'm wearing my 2014 Holland jersey because there's a Dutch, pretty big Dutch team in there that doesn't play in orange. But it was either the Portugal jersey for Porto, which would have been fitting, but of course the club colors are not there. And then there is Feyenoord, the Dutch team in there, which plays in red and white. Orange and white is a little bit closer. That was my thought. And it's the prettier jersey than any of my two Portugal jerseys, I have to say. Love this one. Let's go straight to it and let's go straight to FC Porto, which again, New Balance. <laughs> we saw a lot of New Balance kids, you mean well, you know, I don't like the shoulders. I really do not like them. Other than that, it's fine. I even like that, the, you know, despite the weird shoulders, the sleeves don't actually look nice because uh, it continues the striped pattern. Classic Porto. Striping, I think this is even somewhat influenced by the jersey that won the Champions League in 2004, was as a previous jersey. Whatever it is, I have to say it is really a nice overall look. It's just that the shoulders ruin it for me. Seven stars, therefore only. Uh, the away jersey, yeah, almost like the Celtic uh, jersey, except it, the shoulders are yellow and we have the underarms in blue. And I think this is, in this case, a smart choice. Also like Dinamo Kiev, uh, but Dinamo Kiev had it in white, white and blue, and here it's yellow and blue. And I think as an away jersey for Porto, this works really, 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 really well. I actually like this one. Even the monochromatic crest um, does a good job here. Uh, this is a very decent jersey, I have to say, and it works very well as an away jersey as well. I would give this eight stars. And then comes the crazy kit. It's usually the third jersey for Porto. Um, I love the colors of this one, I have to say. And I have to say, when I look at this third jersey for Porto, uh, kind of a uh, mixed bag, you can get something really good and something awful. This is actually more on the good side. I don't know what this pen is. I know this is probably a dragon related or so on. The only thing is the shoulders. Everything else about this I really like. I like that the pattern is crazy. I like this is a middle stripe. I like it's light blue on dark blue. The colors hit me right and even the full color crest fits just perfectly on it. Yep, this might be the best of the bunch. Shall I give it a higher? I think for originality I actually want to give this eight stars because here the cut does not bother me because you don't see it as much. Sure it would be nice if the pattern would continue all over up until the shoulders. Then we go to the Swiss champions. They have not won the Swiss league for a long time and then boom they win it twice in a row on track for third in a row. Young boys Bern um, also teamed up with Lusk. Fan, long-standing fan friendship between those two. Um, I wish I would talk about them in the Champions League. I have to say this is same thing as with uh, Ghent. The um, template, the Nike template, is very much reminiscent of the 2002 template that I did not like. I so much would like to have a young boys jersey, but last year's I didn't like. This year's is hey, kind of also not uh, all that great. At least I give it to them. It is kind of... Um, you know, it's not a crazy look. It's just those triangles bug me. I wouldn't be, I would be okay with the ones on, on, on the size. The sponsor is funny in the Europa League. It's without the whatever bird there is. But it's just your average jersey. It doesn't excite me, but it's also not um, uh, terribly bad. So I would go, yeah, it would be a classic five and a half. I give it six because it's young boys. The away jerseys in black and white, the same thing. Just the crest sticks out a little bit more and I actually like this uh, as well. Maybe this uh, white one looks actually a tad better, but I also give it six stars. I wish that young boys would give a little bit more exciting, give me a bit more exciting kit. The one by Puma. I don't know, I should buy this one. I see it for a year already, uh, lingering around. The one with Puma from 2010, that I really, really, really liked. Let's go to the Dutch giant from Feyenoord. Can I say anything wrong? 
You know, this is your classic Feyenoord jersey, a half half look in white and red down to the sleeves. Even the collar is split, which kind of looks a little bit weird, but I actually think uh, it's a nice touch. The side strapping is on one side red, on the other side white. Um, cannot go wrong with it. I have to say, I think it would look better if the collar would or not do this half and half thing. Um, although I like it, I, I, I had the sleeve cuffs. I think if this was just a um, short collar, not a round collar, it might also look a little bit better. But overall, really can fault it. Nine stars. However, the away jerseys for the Dodge Giants. And this might be the best one. Uh, the steely blue with the classic Adidas template with all the dots and swirls and all so on. Then neon on there, uh, full colored crest on top of it as well. Although I usually like that one. It's just way too messy. Uh, the colors, are, you have to get used to that one and I don't want to get used to that. <laughs> Four stars. Um, and then we'll finish it up with the Rangers, which is the team that has already is currently leading as I'm shooting this. Uh, Rangers is now with Hummel, and what did Hummel dish up here? Uh, I really like the color, although it's kind of weird with this uh, trapezoid, but I like this with the striping here. Um, but this pattern, I guess, yeah, these are Rangers logos in there. Very, very 90s looking. Uh, even with the pin strapping in there, hmm, interesting. Of course, Rangers with the five stars on top, classic crest. It does look alright. It does look, look alright. It's, uh, how to say, it doesn't look super classic, but it doesn't look bad either. I think I would go with seven stars for that one. The, I think the, if the black one is the away jersey, nah, don't like that one. Uh, black with the light blue. <laughs> you know, it doesn't make sense. It's all black. If it was all, all black, I would be fine. But then the straps here, it's a little bit circus-like. Um, nah. I think of all the jerseys I've looked so far, I like this one least and uh, therefore only a three star. But uh, the third jersey in uh, red, and you know it might be hard. That's all right. This is just your plain red jersey. I mean, it's almost like a Denmark jersey. Probably should be a Denmark jersey. <laughs> um, you know, I cannot fault them for that. I think it's a reasonable uh, third color. Um, I actually have to say I like this one. Is it exciting? No, but it's also not bad. So for that reason, six stars. And well went rather fast through this one but all right I mean this is a very exciting group I have to say uh, one that there's still a lot to play for on the last match day let me know which choices you liked uh, in this video whether you agree with me and my assessment of these choices uh, whether I disagree it's everyone can voice the worst opinion this is just my assessment give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video subscribe to my channel if you want to see more and I will talk to you soon bye Hey there, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that would be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.